Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your video. So I channeled a song by Aerosmith and it's called Angel. Uh, but anyway guys, before I get into the rest of the reading, I want to be the first one to tell you that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you. And thank you, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so, so much. Um, so, you know, it's a love song. It's a song about somebody missing the other person or missing somebody. Um, talks about loneliness, took somebody for a ride, and that basically they're nothing without the other person's love. You know, they're a dog without a bone. And um, they talk about foolish pride. So I'll leave the song with the lyrics in the description box below if you want to check it out. Okay, it's completely up to you. So anyway, let's see who wants to come out here for this reading. Let's pull an oracle card. Then we'll get into the tarot. I think two came out. Yes. We have increase your knowledge. This came out in the pre-shuffle. Education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book, or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. So this, this is a positive. This is a good week for that anyway. Okay, it's a really good week for that. Supports it. Now we have this other card that came out, and it says four 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 here. Four four four. We have a lot of transformation we have a coin butterfly feather you could be seeing any of that a coin could come near you um, the other day I woke up there was a coin in my bed a, a penny and it's weird I don't even I don't use coins a lot of people use cards and I found a coin in my bed and it had the year 2015 well that was actually the year that my husband died so you could find coins um, pick them up look at them all right you can see 444, you might see butterflies, you might see feathers. Anyway, it says, angels are sending you messages now, but you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert and open to divine guidance. Um, even the clouds, pay attention to the clouds. You might see some something in the cloud that uh, is just meant for you. And I don't know who that's for, but I was just guided to say that. So let's get into this reading, all right? Let's see what wants to come out. I know that you guys don't like readings about the past, but just keep in mind it may not be a past lover. It could be somebody just terribly missing you um, who is close and special to you. So let's see what wants to come out here. I'm going to do a Celtic spread. Give me 10 cards. Yes, king of water in the reverse, okay? Does not have to be water energy. Um, I only name the signs because people like to hear them, but I'm seriously thinking about not naming these signs anymore because everyone takes it literal. Every one of us can embody every single card in this deck, every single person on the planet. It's just energy. This is an emotional person, okay? I feel because of the song I channeled. Um, but we'll get into it and we will clarify. And they could have water in their chart, but you could too, for that matter. Yeah, we have this Ten of Cups and this Three of Fire in the reverse. So this is a person who you probably would not expect that they're thinking about you. And a lot of cards came out. Maybe this is the rest of the cards. Okay. So with the page of water in reverse and the king of water in reverse, okay, definitely somebody is emotional. They want to say something here. Um, they may say it, okay, but right now I feel like it, it's just like all the emotions are flooding is what I strongly feel like here. And for some of you, it could be a Virgo. We have the Knight of Pentacles. It's in the reverse. So far, all these cards are in the reverse. But remember, this person's feelings are in the reverse, okay? They're not at their, their highest self. They're, they're, they're having some emotions, okay, when it comes to you. The recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Empress. So maybe, you know, if you are the one in the Empress energy, if you are in the Yen energy, um... It's also Sagittarius right here with the Wheel of Fortune. The Empress is Venus energy. It is uh, Taurus and Libra. But keep in mind, uh, later this week, we have Venus doing some stuff with Jupiter, okay? Um, and that could also be when this person gets impacted. I'm not doing a weekly reading, but as I do this, 
Um, there is going to be activity between Venus and Jupiter and Venus and Jupiter here. We have Ten of Fire in the near future, and it's in the reverse, so that talks about a release. Okay, somebody, whatever, it's too much burden or too much work or too much responsibility, and it might just be somebody has to sort of get out of the head here. Um, and literally, somebody is thinking about this. This this is a Ten of Swords. So like I said, in the song, and then we have Ace of Air in reverse. So that talks about a lack of clarity or maybe somebody liked okay in a situation or lie to themselves all right when it comes to you or it just could be lack of clarity but i feel like what's strongest here is the major arcana and that is venus and jupiter so you might want to look at where venus and jupiter is in your chart uh, because they are having an interaction okay <laughs> all right so two more cards So I know there's a few of you who are Taurians and have Taurus in your chart because we've talked about our placements in chat. Definitely check out um, where Venus and, and Jupiter are because it can affect you. We have the Four of Fire in the reverse. And you can see this is like a happy home or two people who are in celebration together and harmony together. But remember, the song says, you know, I'm like a dog without a bone. Okay, somebody somebody is really missing you and it could have been somebody who was in their ego and their pride and it landed on the page of water you know someone could have like i said water in their chart cancer scorpio pisces but we have release and it's like this so someone is in the process here of alchemizing the energy transforming what's going on within them and it has to do with their emotions so somebody is really thinking about um, just saying what needs to be said this came out literally that way okay so somebody is I feel working toward speaking what is on their mind and they really have a lot to say yeah and they're going to want to start over with you and I have here on the bottom I have Taurus Virgo Capricorn Aries Leo Sag and it could be somebody, like I said, you know, I always say in your work community environment, someone you know, um, could be even someone in the family because I did see the Ten of Cups. So I'm going to use the Osho Zen to clarify. I want to know uh, exactly what energy is this King of Water in the reverse and I know it's sadness just because of the song, but yeah, so having a tower. And I think yesterday's reading, I don't, if you follow me regularly, then you'll know yesterday's reading was a tower brings two people together, it brings you together. Well, here's the tower. This case, it's like somebody's having some sort of breakdown. Okay? A major emotional breakdown when it comes to this connection. And yeah, it, it could always roles be reversed, but right now, the only air energy I'm seeing is right here. The Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords in the reverse. But like I said, any of us can embody this energy. So we have ordinariness. All right. This is a person. This is somebody who is out in the garden, being in the moment, enjoying the 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 environment all right but i was i did say look at the clouds i'm guided to say this pay attention when you're out and about pay attention to the clouds pay attention to the clouds i strongly feel that i don't know why pay attention to the clouds the sky pay attention to the sky in general here but somebody is missing you somebody's having a tower um that is mars energy all right, Mars is Scorpio and Aries. And we also have Mercury and Mars. As I do this reading this upcoming week, we have Mercury and Mars. So um, somebody might be thinking about literally communicating, all right, speaking what's on their mind, what's in their heart. I just heard their heart agenda. <laughs> what does that mean? I've never heard heart agenda. But whatever, somebody uh, might be a very organized person. And um, everything has a place in this person's life. 
but the thing is I don't know where you and this person got off track and I feel like you're not in the spot or they're not like I feel like whatever happened you guys didn't fill the spot that was supposed to be filled something happened here and so this person probably feels out of balance and feels it in deeply in their emotional body tell me about the page of water yeah we have here harmony and politics like this person is not showing you or telling you expressing to you how they feel if they're talking to you if you see them they're definitely not telling you how they feel and you may not be talking to them i don't know i don't have return cards so i don't know if this is a person who's in your life who's not telling you how they feel but this is this is look we see you know like what we learn in the twin flame community you know one soul two bodies everybody has particular uh, feelings when it comes to that but let's just safe to say that you feel like you and this person are one in the same okay does not have to have a label of a twin flame it's just a very special connection in the heart but somebody is hiding their feelings and somebody's putting on a happy face but whatever's going on back there is not what a true person's feelings are and that whoever is hiding their feelings is having a tower about it tell me about the night of earth and the reverse that is virgo energy but it's also an energy of things could be speeding up suppression i'm telling you this is the person who's overloaded um again it's here twice ten of wands is here twice ten of wands this talks about suppression this talks about um overstressed overworked all right too much responsibility but this is a burden because this is an emotional thing so somebody is really thinking about coming in coming forward all right um they might be going through a very negative cycle with this wheel of fortune in the reverse they could be having some sort of negative cycle but it's really bringing about a breakthrough and we have past lives here so strong indication but this also is the the energy the feelings the emotions okay that's the moon card tell me about the wheel of fortune it is jupiter energy okay that fell off the counter we have playfulness but it's the two of pentacles all right um wherever jupiter is in your chart or their chart it could be activating because like i said um, we got Mercury and Mars, which is kind of like going after a goal here, um, setting plans into motion. And then we have that whole, um, the sun is square in Jupiter. So the Jupiter, Jupiter is acting in a positive way. And if this person that you're dealing with has any sort of Jupiter in their chart, all right, this person could be definitely thinking about coming toward you. All right, they might be thinking this is the time. This is the time to reach out. Now we have the Empress. The Empress is Divine Feminine. Empress is the Mother. So it's even like it's a good time for any estranged children to return. Okay, it is a good time for that. So it's a time for whoever feels this connection with you to return or at least they're thinking about it it's favorable um as far as like i said venus is sort of blessing things at this time felt like another one wanted to come out here but this landed on the king of water and i'm telling you somebody has got some heavy emotions when it comes to you this came out anyway it's a past lives card but it's the moon card it's things that are underneath the surface and t somebody is keeping their emotions bottled up when it comes to you now you know what happens when you take a bottle of soda and you shake it and you shake it and you shake it what happens or carbonated drink what happens and you open the top it just can't contain itself that's why the tower is here because eventually this person's emotions are not going to be able to contain themselves and they're just going to pop that's when they're going to have 
to feel the urge to come in and talk. That's when somebody might spontaneously appear out of nowhere, okay, or message. Tell me about the Ten of Fire. That's a final, re that's like a re big release. We have the Hermit with Virgo, Virgo energy. And we have abundance in the reverse. And like in the song, it says, you know, I'm nothing but a beggar without you. I'm just a dog without a bone. That's what this person is. They don't feel abundant, though they might be very abundant. We have the divine feminine, the divine masculine energy. We have the sun and the moon there. This is generally a very abundant card, but it's in the reverse. Just like in the song, they don't feel abundant, okay? They, they could have a lot of abundance, but they feel empty, okay? They feel empty without you. They feel alone, okay? Loneliness took that person for a ride. That's in the song. Loneliness is here. So somebody is going to literally have to release, Nothing can keep, the pressure can't keep building without a release. This person is going to have to eventually pop. All right, pop, literally pop. They might feel, this is also the ego and the pride. It's in the reverse. And I feel that they're going to get out of that and realize that love is the most abundant energy and, and the most important energy of all. And there's no room for that ego and pride where there's love, you know? Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Landed on the Virgo Aloneness card. The Inner Voice, the High Priestess Reverse. Whoever feels like the Ten of Swords you, um, left you hanging, did you dirty, whatever, it's, 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 it's hard. Or if it was a hard ending between you, this is a person who could resurface. And it's not, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe they want to start over, but definitely it's like they have to say what's on their, they have to say what's on their heart. They have to say what's on their heart because that's like the missing piece. And it's really taken a long time for this. But there could be a question of morality here. All right. Somebody might feel embarrassed about how they have been or treated another person. Tell me about the Ace of Air in the reverse. It's. Why is it in the reverse? Okay, so clarity. Somebody's too much of in the mind and needs to get out of the mind and tune in for clarity. Now that could be you, it could be this other person, but somebody needs to tune in here. Just sit in silence, be at peace with themselves. And that's really where answers are going to come. Get out of the mind and get into being at peace and centering yourself or they doing it. Give me another card for that. Yeah. So somebody needs to really raise their level of consciousness here. Someone's not connecting or tuning into consciousness. It could be somebody who has, like, a, it looks like somebody who was overworked, overburdened. Um, somebody who was sort of a control freak, you know. I do, I do feel, because I'm hearing meticulous. So I do feel, like I said, I felt like this is a, a, a person who is sort of organized or everything in this person's life has some sort of like a place or placement. Like they could be very meticulous about things in their life. And it's like, the, 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 the place that you're supposed to be in their life, you're not there. And I don't know why you're not in the place you're supposed to be in, in their life. I, I don't feel it's you. I feel that it's them. I feel like they didn't value or put emphasis on who you are to them or your place in their life, whatever that is. Again, there's somebody just feeling very alone. And we have this guilt card, okay? But it's it's in the reverse. Somebody really, really needs to escape their mind, their thoughts. But the only way to do that is to really come forward. But this person is so stubborn or prideful that it's going to take some sort of emotional tower and break down and release so that they can come in and really say and speak their heart, which is probably a very big apology 
probably a very big apology. Tell me about the four of fire in the reverse. That's a four of wands, eleven eleven. You could be seeing eleven eleven, four four four, you could be seeing eights, twos, um, you could be seeing fives, ones. Again, conditioning right here. This person has some strong this person's just stubborn, okay. They're stubborn. Whoever they are, they are extremely stubborn. And I feel that they they have some uh, deep conditioning. All right, they have some some strong belief, and that could be keeping them and you apart because they believe they they they've told themselves something, right? Because they're in their mind here, and they have told themselves something, and they believe it, and it's almost as like they've been through some sort of hypnotism. Or something like this and all of that has to be shed okay they've got to see beyond the illusion here they've got to have some sort of awakening to reality to the truth but I feel that this person is uh, constantly distracted and they could have and it something that causes them to get distracted they could have you know ADD or ADHD or or anything that you know like a medical thing that can cause them you know to get distracted or make it literally hard for them to just concentrate yeah we have awareness in the reverse and we have the two of wands Whatever it is, this person who's having all these feelings about you, they, what's holding them up is consciousness. They're not connecting or tuning into consciousness. Their, their awareness is in the reverse. This is awareness. They haven't shed their old skin. And so basically they're asleep. Okay, they are awake, but they are asleep spiritually. Um, and the world that they're stuck in is this 3D world. Um, and they are still in the trap. They're still, they're still, uh, they're not out of the matrix is what I want to say. They're not free of the matrix. They're still under control. That's changing. Okay, with the, with that major arcana card of, it's Pluto energy, it's death. That's what's changing here. Let's get a final card for that. And then I'm going to close out with an angel card. I want to take the opportunity to thank everybody who showed up for the reading yeah now whoever this is you guys are in the 5d you guys are in the astral together okay your soul is in connection your guys soul is in connection no doubt about that it's the 3d world that somebody's stuck in the matrix somebody hasn't woke up somebody's still stuck in some sort of belief or concept somebody's still uh, being controlled and somebody is very, very stubborn, all right? It is changing for this person. So you see how there's somebody, there could even be a person who has a tight grip on them because you see there's someone holding on and then they're trying to reach out to you and they're almost doing it, but there's somebody who has a tight hold on this person. But in the spirit world, nobody's got a hold on nobody. And um, that's kind of where it's at. So somebody really is about to blow the top all right if they don't free themselves from whatever this is the tower will come in and free them and the tower can be anything the tower is instant and you can't go back from the tower it's an instant change and it's uncomfortable when it happens but and when we look back on the tower we realize the importance of the tower so if they don't change on their own the tower is going to create the change for them this is a person who is very, you know, like you're their angel, okay? You are their angel, and that is the name of the song. Um, so, and you could be seeing angel numbers, you know, feathers, angel number, 444. Let's close out with a, with a bonus card here. Anything else? So we have two cards and one card says Serafina and it says I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. So this person's holding a baby. Um, it could be, like I said, it could be a child returning. Somebody who was conditioned by another person to stay away from you. Okay, as simple as that. But this could also be 
a baby on the other side, all right, who wants to come into your life, whether you're going to be a parent, a grandparent, an aunt and uncle or whatever. And then we have Fiona, and it says, Now that you've asked your angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So if you've been asking for help, if you've been asking for the angels to guide you, I feel like pay attention to the signs because this says pay attention, okay? Pay attention. And I was strongly guided to the clouds for some reason. Anyway, guys, I love you. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you in your next reading. And namaste, my friends.